Hey guys, in this tutorial we'll start uh, we'll create a login view. We'll start by using Django authentication framework to allow users or author to log into our website. Django comes with a built-in authentication framework that can handle user authentication, sessions, permissions and user groups. The authentication system includes views for common user actions such as login, logout, change password and reset password. The authentication framework is located at django.contrib.org and make and make sure it is already in install apps in the settings.pr file like this here django.contrib.org install apps and make sure the two middleware classes are also present here uh, which is the session middleware and the authentication middleware the authentication middleware uh, associates users with requests using session while the session middleware handles the current session across requests so first we will create a form in forms.pr file create a class user login we'll name it user login form and we'll use forms dot form only for creating the normal form instead of posting anything into the uh, db so we'll use field username and which should be the form dot character field and set the label attribute as nothing or empty string then we have the password to authenticate to the user which is forms dot care field as well label is empty string or you can write anything we'll, um, then we'll use here a widget which is more, most important otherwise uh, the password should be should be visible to anybody uh, so forms dot we'll use password input widget there are many widgets available if you can uh, go to the web browser and for the widgets documentation we do have password input widget and it will render the template of the uh, of this form like this input type password and the same as with the username character will input type text <coughs> the text input so our form user login form is created now open up the views.pr file and we'll create a view here for our login view so we'll define a function and name it user login view which takes a request parameter or argument and we'll do the same thing of uh, as we did in post create method which is the request.method is equals to post and then uh, in uh, generate the form object for the request.post and check if the form is valid so our view will perform four main actions here first one will get the username and password by posting a form so first we will use request which method we will use which is the request method method double equals to post method if the, uh, if, any, if you submit the form or log in the form with your credentials it will go into this condition use we'll use user login form here user login form that we have created but we need to import here otherwise it will give error which is from dot forms import post create form and the user login form uh, which takes the same parameter as request dot post to get the post data and we check if form is valid And inside that uh, condition, we'll perform one uh, first action, which is get the username and password by posting a form. So we'll get the username here by using request dot post username. Same with password request dot post and the field password after that the second step should be the authenticate the user against the data stored in the DB. we'll do so by using first we'll use uh, import, we have to import the authenticated and login view which is from from django dot contrib dot auth import authenticate method and the login method that we have to use in the user login form so we'll use 
authenticate method to authenticate the user pass the username object and the password as well to authenticate the user the third one if we will check if the user is active so first if user is there and if user dot is active it is not a method it is an attribute so we we'll just we we'll don't use parenthesis here so if user dot is active we will now perform the fourth operation which is the log the user into the website and start an authenticated session so we will just use login <coughs> which takes the request parameter and the user authentication object which is this so now we will use http response redirect method from http module so just write inside the from http module we, we have already imported the http response redirect um, method that will that will redirect us to the specific view http response redirect takes a single argument that is the url to which the user will be redirected also we will use inside that http response redirect uh, reverse method so that it will uh, it will give a perfect or redirect us to the post list view so just import the reverse method as well just write from django dot urls import reverse we did as we have already seen the reverse the usage of reverse function in the get apps while defining the get absolute url in the models.py file if you can see here <coughs> we have seen the reverse usage so this is the optional argument uh, this is the optional argument but we need to give the reverse of the post list view instead of post detail view here so just return http response redirect and the reverse of it would be the post list view we don't need to give blog colon post list view because it is all in the project's main directory so else if the user is not active what should return is the return will return http response only that which should say user is not active and if there is no user we will say we will return again the http response object which says user is none and at last we will do else for creating the form first time which is form user login form and then we will need to pass the context here and inside the context we will use form to be used in the template and the form itself and then return the render template with or render the template using which takes the request parameter and the template name should be blog login.html which we will create in a moment pass the context here so our user login function is now completed here so according to the django documentation you should always return http response redirect after successful dealing with post data so also do not use or define the function with name login as we did here the name function login as we uh, if we use only login it will treat this login uh, this login as the recursion function and it is passing two arguments it has one argument uh, otherwise it will give error so make sure you should use the different name for creating the view a function for defining a function so there is a difference between also there is a difference between authenticate and login some people a um, little bit doubt or confused in, in both the functions here why we are using authenticate and the login here so authenticate checks user credentials and returns a user object and while login says the user in the current session okay so we need to create an url for this view in project my site directory so open up the my site url dot py of the my site directory and create a url for this uh, like 
and we'll write login here which ends with dollar we'll start with login and we'll use use dot user login function and we'll name it here user underscore login here as well save it and uh, we'll now create a login dot html template inside the templates directory blog directory just right click on new file and we'll name it login dot html first we will extend the base template to make this login dot html as a child template we will use extends log base dot html or the parent template here and we'll use block content we need to end the block here create a form here we don't need the class and action so we need only method post and inside that we need to write csrf token which is a cross site request forgery token which prevents us from being malicious website from malicious attacks and then we'll use a context variable here for form to be shown on the website as paragraph which is as key and then we'll use input type submit and value should be login here log the user in and we'll use a class of btn btn outline success so template is also almost ready and now go to the web browser and open localhost 8000 make sure your server is running go to the web browser welcome to ab's blog yeah refresh the browser and go to the login dot login page we do have the username and password field so just write the username and password it should lead us to the post list view and it is doing this exactly the same as we use in the view function so if we log in again we don't have the logout option in the next video lecture we'll talk about uh, see about log it logout function but here we'll use login we do have another uh, user which is John and we'll now use the wrong password here yeah, to check what it should show up the user is none see it is working just fine otherwise it will again uh, lead us to the post list view which should not be the correct so this is it guys and then if you like my videos please do subscribe my channel and share more and more and uh, if anything if you are confused at anything please do comment over the youtube channel so this is it guys in the next video lecture we'll do uh, create a logout view and do some tweaks on the navigation bar regarding that login authentication system and uh, so this is it guys have fun